Okay, so looking at most of your goofy shapes that you're doing, those of you that turn them in, look like you're doing a great job on those. Um, continue bringing those in. I know that, that the pace of this, we're doing three lessons a week. I think next week we're going to adjust that and just, just do two lessons this next week. Um, we'll just uh, have today's, which will be Tuesday, and then Thursday's lesson as well. And so when we think about today's, it's a little piggyback off of uh, our Friday lesson where we learned how to do goofy shapes. Now we're going to teach you how to, to uh, do a curved letter and a curved shape. So realistically, it could really be any curved shape that you want to do. Um, it could be a, uh, um, the letter C or letter B or, you know, you're going to choose three letters that you want to do, at, le at least three, you do more, and you're going to, um, you're going to make it three-dimensional and, and, and wrap it around and make those parallel. And you're going to see how you can make a curve line uh, parallel on your drawing. So, let's get started. So here's our learning target. Student will be able to draw three curved letters using one point perspective. Let's gather our supplies. First supply obviously is going to be paper to work on. And then you're going to need a pencil, a ruler or some type of a straight edge, and two colors and this time I'm going to use my yellow highlighter and my blue highlighter. All right. So here we go. We're going to take our ruler, just like our, our goofy shapes, you guys. We're going to line up the horizon line. If you remember, I said it can go anywhere on this paper as long as it's parallel at the top or bottom of the paper. I'm going to line it up here at the top of the paper, just like this, and I'm going to draw the horizon line. Just like that, okay? Then, the vanishing point, I'm going to put over here to the right again as well. Just like that. Now, when I draw a letter, the goofy thing about a letter is going to be, I shouldn't say goofy, the challenging thing about a letter is going to be to make a three-dimensional letter, you have to be able to make a bubble letter. So I'm going to do a bubble letter K for my first name is Kyle and then I'm going to do a, a bubble letter last name which is a B for Benna. Now I'm going to want you to make three, a minimum of three letters. You can do more, you can do words, it could be your favorite sports team, it could be a nickname, it just could be three random letters, I just want you to try it, okay? So how we make this 3D? Well, this K is very similar to our goofy shape. So if we take and go to the vanishing point, to the vanishing point, to the vanishing point, to the vanishing point, all of our corners, to the vanishing point, to the vanishing point, to the vanishing point. Then we have to go back and hit parallel. When we hit parallel, if you remember, we used to line up our ruler, slide out and draw parallel. Since we didn't use a ruler in drawing the letter, we have to do an air parallel. What I mean by air parallel is like you're going to draw over it in the air, and then you're going to try to repeat what you just drew there. Over it in air, try to repeat what you just did there. Over it in air, try to repeat what you did just there. Over it in air, try to repeat what you did just there. And that's how we work through the letter. Now our K is 3D. Let's show you the B. Now the B is a little trickier because it's got this curve and a curve. So let me try to zoom in on this just a little bit more for you so you can see it a little bit better. Let's go right there. That looks pretty good. Alright, so we're going to go in do a corner like this. This is just like our K. This is just like our K. Now look at here. We've got holes. We showed you last time how to do a hole. They're like a swimming pool, right? So we check all the way around. And the only place I really see it's going to go inside the swimming pool is going to be right there and right there. 
and then we have this little bit here. Now, here's where the tricky curve part comes. We got to look at how are we going to make this part 3D and this part 3D. So how we do that is we take our pencil, we put it in the, at the vanishing point, we line our ruler up to it, and we bring this edge around like a clock, and when it hits the edge of a curve, like right here, we bring that back to the vanishing point. Now we're going to bring this around, bring this around, bring this around, edge of a curve to the vanishing point. Bring it around, bring it around, bring it around, edge of the curve to the vanishing point, just like that. Now I've got everything going to the vanishing point on that letter. So now I've got to air draw parallel, air parallel, air parallel, air parallel, air parallel. Now here's where it gets a little crazy. Air curve parallel, air curve parallel, air curve parallel, air curve parallel. Like that, and that becomes our B. That might be a little better there. Sometimes we have to erase because it doesn't look right or it doesn't look parallel like I did there. That looks better. Okay? That's how you make a curve line. I'll show you another one. Some people might think like the letter O might be the hardest. It's really not that difficult because really you have this edge of the curve you have this edge of the curve, and then you air parallel here. You have a hidden inside letter or curve there, and there's our letter O. Now, one of the hardest letters to draw is the letter S. This, let alone bubble, not only 3D. So I'm going to show you an S real quick. So there's our bubble letter S. Now we're going to take this corner to the vanishing point where it hits the edge of this curve right here to the vanishing point. This corner to the vanishing point, this corner to the vanishing point, the edge of this curve to the vanishing point. Now we're air parallel, air parallel, air parallel. Man, this is a long one. Look at all the way up like that. This is air parallel like that. Okay, that's an S. Let me show you another one that would have a hidden letter in it. Like, let's say the letter G. Or even like the letter C would be very similar. But if we have the letter G like this, and we're going to go to the vanishing point right here, to the vanishing point here, to the vanishing point, to the vanishing point, to the vanishing point, edge of this curve, to the vanishing point, air parallel air parallel, air parallel, and then in here we're going to have a hidden line in here, kind of like what we did in our, in our circle over here. Alright, so I want you to try three letters and you can color the front of your letters a color, just like this. and the sides of your letter a different color as well. Okay, so now that you've learned how to do at least three letters, continue to practice that. Continue to practice that uh, through this week. Get that turned in. Upload that into Google Classroom like we've been doing. Take a picture of it with your webcam. Upload that to Google Classroom and continue to practice. Because on Thursday, we're going to start talking about your city. And we're going to talk about how you're going to design your city and what types of things you're going to be putting in your city. But when we think about all the things that you can draw now, all these little preparatory things that we did, 
and we think back to maybe what we've learned last week and this week. We've learned how to draw three perfect boxes. So perfect no one else in the world could draw them any better than we just did. We also learned how to draw goofy shapes. So any random shape that you would make with a ruler to make it three-dimensional. Just like this. And then also how to draw letters or deal with a curve shape. So let's say like in your city you might want a hamburger shop and the top of the hamburger might be curved. Now we know how to do it by doing these letters. We now know how to start to make those things uh, three-dimensional. So be thinking about maybe some building styles, some building shapes. And Thursday we're going to show you how to set up a city. How you set up a city, do a horizon line, vantage point, road, building, building next to the building, building behind the building, building across the street from the building. And show you just some of the basics. But each demo we're going to show you a little bit more details that you can put in your city. I think you'll really enjoy. So have fun practicing letters. And on Thursday, we'll be talking to you about your cities. Good luck, everybody.